Hello everyone and welcome. Today is time for another Tau drone and this time a missile drone. This one was rather simple as it's just a you know rectangular shape painted in two colors with a few bumps. Um, unfortunately like I said mentioned in the previous video I had to make things a lot more complicated and paint all the recess uh, shading uh, and shadowing beforehand and this complicates things a bit more because you have to be very careful not to spill but as you can also see I somewhat learned from my previous video in the sense um, because again they were painted basically in the same day but I you can clearly tell that I painted this afterwards because I totally gave up on uh, taking care of the little uh, bulges there the missiles uh, and not painting them because uh, I, I knew from the start that I wanted to paint them black but yeah uh, realizing that I was not going to have any chance of you know uh, not messing them up I just didn't even pay any care with them and just ended up painting all over them <laughs> and yeah so again just to recap do not try to paint the recess shades and um, uh, lines uh, before doing the uh, base coats uh, for the models yeah it's not gonna work I know but if you are new to this hobby like I was and like I still am you at some point you will try to find shortcuts and um, you will not take my word for it trust me nobody <laughs> no everybody thinks that they can have a little cheat around to uh, get away with uh, doing stuff uh, much more easily and while I can say that this is definitely not one of those um, I'm pretty sure there will be somebody who does not trust me and will try to do it themselves. And um, yeah, <laughs> these are the little tips and tricks that uh, I actually wanted to make these videos for so that um, I can share with uh, people who get into the hobby for the very first time so that to at least not make the mistakes that I am making but uh, realizing that um, as a, I have to make those mistakes in the beginning because I don't believe others <laughs> is absolutely hilarious <sighs> yeah so uh, the main body is uh, again painted with um, warboss green and as I mentioned in all the previous videos, no edge highlighting. I don't like them. It's not, I can't do them. It's they're not that tough to make, but ugh, they make the miniatures look so cartoonish. Either that or I'm not doing enough or too many of them. I don't know. But uh, if you can no notice the ones that I have in the final shots on the top drones, please let me know. And uh, I will see if I can uh, improve my work uh, to make them better, but I'm still not really satisfied with how edge highlighting works. And again, either my eyes are broken, but you know, since it doesn't really matter if uh, a miniature is small or not, you will still see uh, light play over it and high normally highlight without me having to do it from the paint at least in my opinion so well, if this is all going to be done either way why by any light coming on the model well, why do I have to force it or how much light are people using that shadows no longer exist and highlights no longer exist I'm not sure that's exactly the best solution because again I like to live in shadows so to speak yeah 
normally the lights in my house are like on a dim setting at best uh you can call me creature of the night if you will <laughs> but no seriously uh having a uh, somewhat of a sensitivity to light i much prefer darkness when i have to paint i prefer brighter light but not quite that much when i'm painting from what i can see um at least in my setup from other uh, youtubers uh, i actually have shadows whereas they don't so how much light do you have to use to not have any shadows at all in your videos jesus i'm afraid to ask that question <laughs> yeah oh well again everyone has their own way of doing things mine are just a little bit different And as I mentioned before, I painted the front of the missiles black. I absolutely love how the contrast works with black on that uh, Dalai Toker. And the ends of the missile, I will also add deep the lead vulture. And I'm not sure if it should be that color, but. Eh. It looks good and it stands out. It also brings a bit of metallic color to this um, sci-fi drone tau thingy drone that um, looks all plastic. <laughs> but uh, with that bit of... Uh... <laughs> yeah, as you can see, I, I don't know why I keep dropping things, but especially in those... Um, wet palettes wet homemade palettes speaking of uh, last video I mentioned that I bought uh, myself some uh, um, magnifying glasses I also bought some um I also bought a wet palette an actual wet palette I can't wait to test this thing out can't wait to test this thing out and see how it actually performs compared to my homemade ones. Yes, can't wait indeed. And the first thing I've noticed is that the paper is much, much more glossy. Much more glossier than what I um, expected and what I've been using with my um, baking uh, parchment paper stuff. Baking paper. Anyway, yeah, can't wait to test this baby out. Hmm. Let me just check my calendar, see what the actual video it should be first tested out on. Ooh, the next Shadows of our Camelot. Okay. Okay, okay. Yeah. Hmm. As I mentioned before, I was going to show you guys the planning I have done. Hopefully, I have actually added said um, plan in a uh, community post. If I am not, and you really want to see it, please go ahead and bug me. You know, leave a comment, subscribe, share the video with a friend. Yes, shameless plug on my end. But um, it was that time as we are slowly approaching the end of this short video. I hope you have enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you did and share it with a friend. Now, in a few seconds, I will let you enjoy the final shots and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.